If you're in search of a larger size SUV, there are two behind us here that should definitely be on your radar. The Jeep Grand Cherokee and the Dodge Durango. And Dennis Freeman from Elmwood Auto Group, although there are a lot of similarities in the two vehicles, each kind of has their own identity, correct? Let's talk about that. They sure do, and here they are. Fraternal twins, as I like to call them. Both share a lot of the same DNA, but both are unique in their own individual ways. The Grand Cherokee is a five-passenger SUV, where the Durango is a seven-passenger SUV. Both share the same platform as far as suspension. It, they, they both have a quadra-coil suspension. They're both powered by the same available power plants, either the 3.6-liter Pentastar V6, which generates 300 horsepower, or the legendary Hemi, which generates 375 horsepower. But like I said, between the two, the biggest difference is the fact that the Durango is available with a third row seat. Like I said, it's a true seven passenger SUV. And what's nice is if you don't need the seven passenger, if you simply need that extra space in the back, both seats with the pull of a strap fold down and they fold flat into the floor. Both vehicles are loaded with a lot of safety features and high-end features that are normally found in luxury SUVs. Um, brands that you typically associate with Acura, BMW, Mercedes, Infiniti. And a lot of times when my customers are out shopping, they'll come back to us and they'll, they'll say, in either case, the Grand Cherokee or the Durango, that they simply get more bang for their buck in, in either one. Yeah, And that's why we always try to encourage people on the show, go to the dealership, take it for a test drive, ask some questions, because you really have to touch it, see it, drive it to really understand these, these vehicles. Exactly, you're 100% right. You need to get in this driver's seat and get in behind the wheel and drive the vehicle. And you can feel the, 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 how luxurious the leather is, the heated seats, the ventilated seats, the blind spot monitoring, the backup camera with eight and a half inch screen. Again, a lot of these items are associated with very expensive high-end SUVs, but here they are in both the Grand Cherokee and the Durango. What about some other differences that distinguish the two? Well, the Grand Cherokee is designed to be more of the off-road vehicle between the two. Of course, Jeep, the name Jeep is always associated with off-road, trail rated. The Grand Cherokee has a more sophisticated four-wheel drive system than the Durango. And the, the Durango's four-wheel drive system is, is a fantastic system. You don't have to worry about anything in the snow, especially here in New England where that's a big concern. But the Grand Cherokee has a system that will actually transfer power front to back, side to side, and diagonally. So if only one wheel had traction, it would transfer all of the available power to that one wheel that was still on uh, dry pavement. Besides five passengers versus seven passenger, for all the moms and dads who have kids, is there one versus the other that's a little more kid friendly? I'd have to say that is the Durango. Uh, just being seven passenger with the available third row seat, another cool feature with the Durango is the DVD system. The Durango has a dual DVD system that actually retracts from the headrests of behind the driver and passenger seat. How do they compare price-wise? Both are very similar. Depending on which trim level you select will obviously determine the price. But on the entry-level Durango, which still comes very nicely equipped with items such as power seats, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, rear heat and AC, rear backup camera, which is now standard, and the same level of options for the Grand Cherokee, they start right around $30,000. And as you step up in trim levels, obviously you step up in price but each option package is comparable in each model. How's the availability at Elmwood? The availability is great. We stock as many SUVs as possible, especially during this time of year. The Grand Cherokee, which is award-winning, is one of our best sellers, as is the Durango. So we have plenty in stock to choose from. Well, Dennis, I think my conclusion is either way, can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. Both are great choices, whether it's the Grand Cherokee or the Durango, like I said, both are phenomenal values. I'd like to say that every month is a great time to buy a vehicle, but the end of the year and December where we're celebrating our end of the year blockbuster sales event, now is the time to come down, get yourself a great deal on a four-wheel drive SUV at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence, Rhode Island.